football in America is a special game. A unique game. The men who play it make it so. All of them are fearless. All of them are strong, quick, and all of them are part of a story that began long ago. A story written by men who found in a sport a demanding measure for their own courage and ability. As the chill of a cold spring rain swept across the plains, the pioneers of Mid-America Nazarene University dreamed of a championship for the 1999 football season. Fueled by this dream, six months later, the pioneers would battle for a conference crown and ultimately a national championship. And in doing so, would produce the most electrifying football season in mid-America history. Entering the season unheralded, the pioneers stood toe-to-toe, -to -toe, exchanging blows with the conference heavyweights, enduring and persevering the 99 gridiron campaign with the heart of a champion. Pioneer Football, 1999. Daring to Dream. Not expected to compete for a championship in the tough Heart of America Conference, the Pioneers surprised early opponents by exploding out of the gate and racing to a top 10 ranking in the national polls. the heat and hopes of August, a distant memory. The pioneers began October with their goal of a conference championship clearly in sight. In the tough and tumble Heart of America Conference, each week would prove to be a battleground in the quest for a championship. Drawing strength from each other and the pioneer family, the men in blue would rise repeatedly from gut-wrenching losses to post thrilling victories their chase for a championship ring. As we start the fourth quarter, and they're going deep. They're not going to sit on this lead. Complete to Marcus Williams to the 35-yard line. That one inside backer right here and look at the lead block by number 77, Scott Campbell. And then from there, Mike Williams gets back to make
yards. He pumps. He fires a deep pass, trying to throw the ball to the 30-yard line for Brandon. He's got the ball to the front. Mike Tiffany with a big win behind him. Leaves leading punter. Yeah, hit him. Yeah, baby. Past November day in Canton, Ohio, with the legends of pro football eerily watching over Fawcett Stadium, the Pioneers began the final lap in their race for a championship, playing for the national championship of Christian colleges in the Victory Bowl. The Pioneers would battle fiercely against a talented Geneva College team, overcoming an early deficit. This final game would exemplify the courage and valor of the 1999 Pioneers. Led by a strong senior class, the Pioneers refused to quit in the face of adversity, and in doing so, kept their championship dream alive until the final seconds of the 1999 season.
is a rough game and often a cruel one. Every time you lose, you die a little bit. You die inside a portion of you. Not all of your organs, maybe just your liver. Pain is inevitable. They're killing me, Whitey, they're killing me! There was only the painful face of failure. Okay, fellas? Hey, fellas, this is what you work all off season for. This is why you lift all them weights. This is why you do all that. There was a fighting heart under the ribs of defeat. Never give up, baby. Never give up. I'm a hard working man. I wear a steel hard hat. I can ride rope, ammo and paint. Do things with my hands that most men can't. I can't get ahead no matter how hard I try. I'm really good at barely getting by. Got everything I own by the sweat of my brow. From my four wheel drive to my cowboy boots, I love it all to my blue collar roots. Feel like I'm working overtime on a runaway train. I got to bust loose from this ball and chain. I'm a hard working man. I got it all
I'm a flash and I was in the middle. I didn't want to look dumb, so I exaggerated a little. I said, uh, I've been training 20 hours a day, lifting big old cars and big bales of hay. And I jog 10,000 miles every morning, thinking about Mike and my moment of glory. I drink water 20 gallons of popcorn. I control both like a whole That was cool. Well, you know, getting dissed is never good, but I was even getting dissed in my own neighborhood. I was at the corner at the top of my block. There was a couple of people standing outside the barber shop. It was Lawrence, my barber and friend, and he yelled out, Hey, thank you to I said, really? And I stopped the chat.
baby. And let's cruise on into this better than ever street.
gray sky Hello blue, cause nothing can hold me when I hold you You so right, you can't be wrong Rockin' and rollin' all night long
Y'all like that?
On these winds of victory ride emotions of a year, of work and sweat, guts, glory, and fear. Put me on the one foot line and give me two minutes to go and give me all three of my timeouts and give me my boys. And then let me hear my name over the loudspeaker. Let me hear the roar of the crowd. Let me have booing on one side. Let me get in and call plays, see the eyes grow as I call these plays and talk to them. Let me feel the hair on my back crawl up. I mean, that's what the Super Bowl does to you. All sights are set on one glittering goal. The chance to play and win in the Super Bowl. If we die, we die together. You can get it done. You can get it done. What's more, you gotta get it done. There's a gleam, man. There's a gleam. Let's get the gleam, all right? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Want a piece of that championship? Put it in here. After all these years, Mike, that I could come out here and be nice and relaxed. Jeez, I'm a nervous wreck. Hey, guys, where else would you rather be? Time and Olathe tied at 14, and Stan Weber goes back to work here in the third quarter. He was 12 of 22, going for 145 yards. And that first half, Williams passes off the tackle. We're going to have to play a lot better in the second half. Tell me about your offense. It really hasn't done much. Uh, they've done a good job. Uh, we're, we're got to get some movement off the line of scrimmage. We're not we're not really handling them on the line of scrimmage, and uh, we just got to get back to what got us here. So I'm down here with Coach Mike Redwine. Your offense played so well, but you made a few mistakes. You're in a tie ball game. Oh boy, we are. It's kind of reduced down to a 30-minute game now, so this makes it really interesting. And, and Fans enjoying the action tonight. As we start the fourth quarter, they go with deep. And comes down with this kick. You 
can't throw that ball any better than Mayo put that one. You bring it down. So they're going to just you the 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 those zone defense. And you can see Phil Harvey just pulled right the there best in the middle of, of that zone. You take the final one to the third. So go on, tied at 14. You the final Face and they come to Clark, and guess what? Johnson breaks it up again. They come right back to him on that slant. Yeah, the first one today. The second leading receiver is spread out wide to the right. But to take me on the team. Look at that. You know, you know, Football in America is a special game, a unique game. The men who play it make it so. All of them are fearless. All of them are strong, quick, and all of them are part of a story that began long ago. A story written by men who found in a sport a demanding measure for their own courage and ability. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll.
way you want to start. And you'll see this receiver right there. He is the guy that's going to get called for holding if you just watch him. You see right here, he goes down and tries to cut, but instead of cutting, he's Jim Bob Timmons. He's got to block this inside gap because that's the MDM, the most dangerous man. Instead, he turns outside and just gets... Well, it's, there's the man who 